This is Rot Ten Glory. Okay, so I know that uh, this is a topic that's been uh, a little bit beat to death, but I still felt the need to get my thoughts out there for whatever that's worth. Uh, I hope you will take the time to listen to this video because I do feel that I'm I'm bringing a unique perspective to this. So when it comes to Anna, a.k.a. that Star Wars girl, Vampirilla cover, I think that Comicscape missed a really big opportunity to win people over to Comicscape. There is this, Anna has been on YouTube for a long time. She's earned her fan base, she's created a, a really large platform and people that tune into her uh, to listen to, you know, Star Wars and other pop culture <laughs> topics that she delves into. Dynamite reached out to Anna to do a comic book cover. They reached out to her because she has a big platform and they, they recognize the opportunity to make money. It's a business. They saw it for what it was. Um, I th my understanding is it, it took them several tries and I finally agreed and she produced a cover for them. This was never presented as a Comicscape project. Nobody ever said it was a Comicscape project. And here's the thing. Anna doesn't, she doesn't watch a lot of comics. She doesn't even know what's going on in Comicsgate. She doesn't watch all the streams. She's not up on all the lore. That isn't her, her focus is the fandom menace and, and what she does, her niche on YouTube. That's her thing. The crossover here is mostly due to The Jack Show, okay? The Jack Show is not a comic skate platform. It is a pure comedy entertainment show, okay? Does it have comic skate related material at times? Of course it does, because the core members of The Jack Show are Cecil, John Malin, Kelsey Shannon, and, you know, off and on, Ethan Van Scaver. Of course, these are all people who are very dedicated to Comic Skate. Of course, there's going to be Comic Skate talk on the Jack Show, but it's not, it's not its primary focus. It's there to entertain and to just be, you know, irreverent and entertain people in a, in a very interesting way. And it does a damn fine job of doing that. And Anna is an integral component of that show. You know, whether you like her or hate her, it doesn't matter. She creates an interesting dynamic for that particular show. That's where I, you know, if it weren't for the Jack show, I probably, I would never, I wouldn't know who Anna is. Okay. And of course, if you're friends with somebody and they're doing something, they've created something and they have a campaign going, of course, your friends are going to mention it. They're going to talk about it. They're going to let people know, hey, my friend is doing this thing. Check it out. If you like it, buy it. If you don't, don't. It was never presented as a Comicscape project. It wasn't platformed that way. And it isn't. Anna isn't out there trying to make the comic skate rounds. She's not, um, she's not looking to comic skate to get her campaign rolling. That's not, she doesn't need to. She has the platform already. She has the fan base. Okay. Does it help that, you know, she's friends with uh, Malin and EVS and Cecil? Of course it does. They've dropped it. Of course, you know, I'm sure that got some play for her campaign. 
but it, it was never platformed as comic skate. It's not comic skate. It is a job that Anna did uh, with dynamite, and <laughs> it it really doesn't have anything to do. All comic skate needed to do was say congratulations on getting the cover, and we wish you the best of luck. It doesn't matter if you like the art she produced or, or don't like the art she produced. It doesn't really have anything to do with it. She was given this opportunity because she has a, a, a big platform and Dynamite recognized that this, in this current state of where comics are at and where things are going, there, this is a company that is actually engaging the future of comics direct to consumer crowdfunding they understand what's going on and they are engaging it this is actually something that could be applauded they understand how the market is shifting and they're looking to people influencers that have a platform that can market to their fan base and make money it's a business this has it's not about comics gate this cover, it, it doesn't have anything to do with Comicsgate. And I don't understand why, you know, why people are looking at it, why it was so attacked. I don't understand the uh, animosity about it. I mean, people taking uh, offense that, you know, John or Cecil or EVS have, you know, have mentioned it or, or talked about it. EVS, as far as I know, have, has never platformed Anna on his channel as Comicsgate. Uh, John Malin, I, it's not like he's doing a Comicsgate presents Anna's Vampirilla cover. Your friends are going to help you promote. It, it could have been anything. It could have been an oil painting. It could have been an art show she was part of. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Of course, you're gonna you're gonna promote your friends because that's what you do for each other. W since when does comics gate do this kind of shit? This feels it feels very it feels like something the opposition would do, and it it, it kind of it it really kind of disappoints me that this is uh, the path that this is what happened, it, it, it doesn't make any sense to me because there was just no need for it. And in fact, I think, I think it's done harm because there is a lot of overlap with, the, obviously, the Fandom Menace and Comicsgate. There's overlap there because EVS was a big part of uh, establishing the Fandom Menace. And like, you know, a lot of us came into contact with EBS through because he was doing the Star Wars videos and like that, that helped uh, explode his channel onto the scene. It's a big part of the growth that he experienced. So there's this, there's a lot of overlap there. But what do you think when fans of that Star Wars girl came in contact with comic skaters just being completely fucking butthurt and volatile about this cover for whatever reason i don't know what if people were just like she didn't deserve the opportunity or she didn't deserve to get a shout out from her friends or something or they felt like it it was somehow like it was comic skate or something, but nobody, it's never been, it's not a comic skate project. Nobody ever said it was. But what do you think all, all of those fans, all of those people, this was an opportunity for crossover, for overlap, for people to be like, maybe they wet their appetite. They're like, oh, this is the first time they've ever uh, invested in, in anything comic book. This could have been their first time. And then that could have led to them 
going deeper down the comic skate rabbit hole and becoming fans, becoming backers of other projects. But do you think when they see this kind of volatility, this reaction to somebody putting something out there, do you think that that's going to be appealing? Do you think they're going to be drawn in to what Comic Skate is doing? No. It's going to look like a nightmare. They're going to be like, if anything, it's going to, they might become active opposition to what we're doing. This, it doesn't make any sense. I think it was a huge mistake. I, I, I really don't understand it. Okay. And it's not about whether, you know, whether you like this cover or don't, it, who cares? It's not something I would be drawn to. But it, that has nothing to do with it because it's, it wasn't touted as Comics Gate. It's a dynamite cover. They reached out to her several times to, uh, have her do this. She agreed. She put out a product. She promoted it to her fan base, her friends. Uh, you know, of course her friends are going to let people know about it. Nobody ever said it was Comic Skate. Nothing nefarious happened here. Nothing happened. If you don't like the cover, don't back it. But... <laughs> Comic Skate should have just been like, congrats, Anna, on getting a fucking cover deal with Dynamite. Good for you. And gone about our day. And and maybe it would have led to more people coming into Comic Skate because they're like, wow, this seems like a really, this is so cool. Like, people are making comics. It's independent. What is this? Maybe they would have gone deeper down that rabbit hole. But all, all Anna's fans have seen is this volatile reaction, this kind of attack. And that, is, that probably turned all of them off and closed them completely to the idea of what Comicsgate is. They've now made their judgment. And now that, you know, it probably created some kind of rift between Fandom Menace and Comics. What was the purpose? Over what? Why? Because her friends talked about what she was doing, her project? Her friends aren't allowed to, to, to mention her project? Why? <laughs> this is, it, it just feels like the kind of bullshit our opposition would have gotten up to, I don't like it. I'm disappointed by it. And I think, I think it's a missed opportunity to, to win over new people, to bring people into the fold. And I, I think that there was just absolutely no reason for this shit. And if you want to call that simping, for Anna, fucking go for it. I don't give a shit. I don't like this cover. It doesn't have anything to do with it. It doesn't have anything to do with Comics Gate. You know? Just, I, I, I just feel like, you know, and maybe it's the, you know, the My Sharona fucking, everybody's shut in and they're getting a little emotional. They're getting a little crazy. And we, maybe Comics Gate just winning. Too much winning. So we're now we're like, you know, Comic Skate's a lean, mean fighting machine. We just, we're used to the fight. We're used to the battle. We just need something to attack. I don't know what it was. This was completely unnecessary. It was uncalled for. Somebody, you know, is having success with their platform and what they do. They got a job with somebody. Why, what is this? Why is Comic Skate attacking? This is some bullshit. Just get over it, people. Messed up on this one. This was an opportunity to bring more people in. And, and you done fucked it up. Let's learn from this. Let's do better next time. This is... Because this was a fucking mess. 
And I hope other people can see that. Um, if, if you can, like and share the vid. If you hate the vid, you know, let me know. Give it a thumbs down. I want to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Sub to the channel, and I will see you next time.